Hi, my name is Josh Ryer. I'm the Director of Utility Programs and Initiatives here at the Connecticut Public Utilities Regulatory Authority. I'm going to provide a brief overview of the Residential Renewable Energy Solutions Program that will be effective January 1st of 2022. The Residential Renewable Energy Solutions Program will replace current net metering in the Residential Solar Investment Program, which has been administered by the Connecticut Green Bank for the better part of the last decade. As previously mentioned, the program will begin on January 1st of 2022 and will run for six years after that point. The program will be administered by your local electric utility company. So depending on where you live, that's either Eversource or United Illuminating. Customers may still apply for current net metering until January 1st of 2022. Two additional points of eligibility for the new program are that projects in order to be eligible must be a wind, solar, or fuel cell project up to 25 kilowatts. And the length of the project or the terms and conditions for a project that is deployed under this program will be 20 years. Customers will have two options on the program. They'll have the, the choice between a buy-all tariff or a netting tariff. And a tariff is really just the terms and conditions under which the project is subject. So under a buy-all tariff, projects will receive a fixed compensation rate for a, the 20-year term that was mentioned earlier. Payments will be applied to the customer's utility bill with the option for annual payment pay, cash outs uh, from the utility. Under the netting tariff, which is actually very similar to, to current net metering, any production that is produced by the solar facility that is in excess to what is consumed on site will be compensated at what's called the retail rate, which is the rate that you pay for your electricity. And you'll see that on your, your electric bill. These monetary credits will be provided on your utility bill for this excess production. And those monetary credits will, will constantly roll over on your electric bill until your service is terminated. Additionally, uh, in some cases, there are payment, direct payments for what are called renewable energy credits, uh, which actually pay for the environmental attributes from the solar facility. And I'll talk about the eligibility of that a little bit later. So uh, speaking of the tariff rates for these projects, projects that apply and are accepted into the program in 2022 will receive the following rates. So under the buy-all tariff, regardless of whether you're in Eversource or United Illuminating, you will receive 29.43 cents per kilowatt hour that is produced from your solar facility. Under the, the netting tariff, again, you receive compensation for anything you produce uh, above what is consumed at your location. Uh, but in terms of the, the netting or the RECs that, that we talked about earlier, in Eversource territory, you're eligible for about a three cent, 3.18 cent credit for the RECs that are produced by the, the solar facility uh, that is deployed in Eversource. In United Illuminating, because the netting portion of that program is actually a little bit higher than in Eversource, there are no additional REC payments uh, for customers that come in under the netting tariff in United Illuminating service territory. As you can see uh, below the, the rates that I just walked through, there are additional what are called adders or additional compensation that customers that meet low income eligibility and distressed municipality eligibility would receive as well to, to ensure that we are deploying systems more equitably and broadly throughout the state. Additionally, one point of clarification, projects that apply in 2022 will receive these rates for 20 years. The rate will not be changed. Uh, another term for that is called grandfathering. Pura will hold a process to then set rates for projects that apply in 2023 in the coming months. Also, folks might be asking, uh, what, what's the purpose uh, or the objectives of this program. Uh, in this case, there's several stakeholder vetted uh, objectives that, that PIRA has authorized, but one that I wanted to focus on is the sustained orderly development of the state solar industry, as well as achieving 100% zero carbon electric grid by 2040. In order to meet both of those objectives, 
it was determined that deploying about 50 to 60 megawatts per year under this program uh, would help us achieve both of those objectives. So as you can see there, historically over the last five, five or so years, we've deployed anywhere between uh, 35 and 75 uh, megawatts annually. For information, we'd encourage you to visit your electric utilities dedicated webpage for this program. And if you have any questions about the program, we'd also encourage you to reach out to your electric utility or uh, Pira's Consumer Affairs uh, Unit. The information for both the websites and to contact your electric utility or Pira's Customer Affairs will be included in the webpage that this is posted on.